Like always, we will not focus very deep into the mathematics, but we will primarily focus on what you actually need to know to use Solver. And in the process, we will show how to use it for simulation and create interactive dashboard so that you can tell a fantastic story to the end user. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Data Bicep. Today, we will learn a very important function in Excel that you will use almost daily as a data analyst or a business consultant. And we call that Solver. If you venture into the world of data analysis or in business consultant, most of the projects that you'll do are optimization projects. It can be your HR optimization, it can be operation optimization, it can be financial optimization. And in the world of data, Optimization is nothing but a series of complex equations with many parameters, which apparently looks very difficult to control. And in that case, Solver comes to rescue because in real world, none of this equation comes as complete equation. Watch the video till the end because today we will not go very detailed into mathematics of linear programming and Solver, but we will show that how an analyst will use it in his daily life. Let's try to understand solver with a very funny situation which almost all have gone through and i call that dinner debt dilemma during our heydays i was always in short of money and whenever i used to take my girlfriend out for dinner it used to be a challenge in my head that how can i make her happy with a minimum budget and i don't think this situation has gone out completely even many of you are still facing the situation so let's see how a solver can help you to have a strategy so that you can make your girlfriend happy with a constrained and limited budget. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to Databicep and click the like button and share this video with all of your friends who need to know this information. And please comment below if you faced a similar situation and how you have managed this. Let's assume this is a standard menu chart of the restaurant you like to go and it has all the items along with its prices over three courses that starter, entrees, and dessert. And it's mentioned in column C that whether this particular dish can be shared or not. And fortunately, you know your girlfriend's preferences and you, you could mark each of the dishes in the scale of one to 10, saying eight is very good. That means uh, she loves chicken kebab, whereas minus two men, she hates grilled vegetables. So if you understand that, now let's look at the objective. And your objective is to make your girlfriend happy at minimum expense. So quickly check what are the constraints. You need to order at least one item from each of three courses. You cannot order partial plate. And you are lucky because you know your girlfriend's happy zone. That means she will be very happy if you score 80 over your happiness factor somewhat happy if you score over 50 and if it is 30 and below definitely sh she is unhappy confused too many parameters to control to optimize let's see how you can solve your dilemma in less than five minutes if you look practically there are many parameters that's menu item price is it shareable or not happiness factor your budget number of place would you like to offer but if you look closely, it's only one parameter that you can control. That's the number of orders you can make. Rest all is dependent on that. So let's create a columns for those. I have already created a few parameters that are needed for the analysis. Let's unhide those. Okay. The column F is number of orders you would do for each of the plates. But you know, each of the dish can be either shared or not. So if you would like to know that how many people can eat, then let's multiply this number of orders with column C and drag till the end. And you remember, you have one constraint that you need to eat from all the courses. So we need to have some of people who can eat each of the courses that means if you order one dish each then five people can eat starter seven people at least can eat entrees and six people at least can eat dessert the next thing 
definitely the biggest you need to manage your budget so let's identify what the cost would be if you order one plate each let's assume more plates you order your girlfriend's happiness will increase accordingly hence there is another field called happiness count and we will multiply its happiness factor with number of orders you are making to derive happiness count and drag it till the end format it a bit let's find out the total that if you order one dish each then how much you score in terms of your budget and how much in terms of the overall happiness factor you see it's surprising that if you order one plate each then you end up spending over 7000 rupees but your girlfriend's happiness score is just 67 so you fall in somewhat happy zone that's not right so we have to optimize the order in such a way that your total spend is less but your girlfriend's total happiness count is at least 80 so that she goes back home with a smiling face and the solver comes to rescue so in order to solve this click data go to solver and if you don't find this in your excel don't worry it's just a small plugin you can click the link above to see how to add the plugin but let's start with the key objective and your key objective is to minimize your spend so here you refer the total spend cell your objective is to minimize so click minimize and only parameters that you, that you can control are the number of orders so your variable cells are nothing but your order cells click this now we are kind of set to optimize but before that we have to put the constraints so let's start putting all the constraints the first constraint, if you remember, we said that you cannot order any half plate. That means all the plates you have to order full. So these numbers have to be integers. So let's start putting those constraints. Add this is integer. Add let's do for all the other plates as well. Now we have added all the first constraints now let's go to the next constraint and if you remember the next constraint was that you both need to eat all courses so if you want to eat from starters then this number has to be more than two similarly for entrees this number has to be more than two so is for desserts let's put those constraints in add this greater than or equal to add okay so we have added this constraint as well now we will go to the third and most important constraint that your girlfriend needs to be happy that means your total happiness factor has to be more than 80 so add that constraint refer this cell greater than equal to 80 okay now that we have put all the constraints just click solve and we have a result voila it says that you don't need 7000 rupees to impress your girlfriend you can do that by spending 5000 rupees only and this is the order that you have to make and it seems that you have to go really heavy on deserts now let's make the case a little interesting that is you are absolutely in love with fish jambayala and you want to order it very badly but if you order it your girlfriend will definitely be unhappy in that case what should be your ordering strategy so let's put this as constraint as well that means let's go to solver add that constraint that i will order at least one fish jambayala okay and now see how does the order change and you see because you're ordering one fish jambayala you need to order a lot of desserts and your overall spend goes a little high but still you can make your girlfriend happy by now you have realized 
that solver can help you to simulate situation. So a start that data analyst will not stop here, rather he will build a simulation dashboard to tell the story more effectively. And to build a simulation of strategy, let's create a dynamic dashboard. And in order to do that, let's start by creating a waterfall diagram on your cost and let's call that budget. So for that, select it, go to insert, go to waterfall diagram, select data, edit the axis a bit. Okay. Okay. So now you have a waterfall diagram for your girlfriend's happiness. And you need to understand your pocket pinch as well. So create another similar waterfall diagram for your budget. Rename it to budget. Change the data. Edit series name cost. Series value. Oops, sorry. I had already created a budget. So for this, it would be happiness counter. So click this as happiness counter. Select this. So rename, okay. So rename this as happiness count. And this was our budget chart. So this gives you a visual idea that what you need to spend and where so that your girlfriend is really happy. But in strategy, you just don't go with one option. So you need to have your option A, B, and C. And in order to do that, you need to simulate various scenarios. So let's create that. Let's create a placeholder and call that target happiness counter. What we will do, we will try to select your girlfriend happiness zone and understand what the counter is and solver will automatically solve for that scenario. So for that, go here, go to data, go to data validation, Click list. Refer this source. Okay. That means you can select three happiness zones of your girlfriend from here. Now you would like to understand the respective happiness counter. So V lookup, this is your lookup value, or table array, and you need to say false for exact match. Now, if you select very happy, it's 80, somewhat happy, it's 50. Now, what you have to do, you have to go to your data solver, find out this constraint and make that dynamic. Where is this constraint? This 80, we change it and we will refer this particular cell. Okay. Now we met this complete chart dynamic. So if you want to make your girlfriend very happy, just select it, click solver. You know, you can do that by paying 5,950 rupees and you have this ordering pattern in mind. And if you're okay to live with a moderately unhappy girlfriend, then click it, go to solver, solve it and say that you can do away with little less than 3000 rupees and this could be what you'll be ordering there so i hope you like the video and by now you understood when to use solver how to use solver and most importantly how to tell stories using a solver because a star analyst will not stop in just doing something for sake of doing it rather he will always tell a compelling story and that will differentiate him from just an ordinary developer. And that's when the companies will run with a bag of money after them. Please do subscribe us, like, comment, and share your thoughts so that we can improve ourselves and we can bring more related videos to you so that you thrive in your journey to a data analyst. Thank you. Bye-bye.